folks, Jim Rogers from Salvino's JR Models. Yes, I am the JR of the company. Rick Salvino, my partner and I, are very happy to be able to share with you some of the unboxings of our new kits. Last week, I had the Chase Elliott new 2023 uh, Napa livery car. And this week, I'm going to be sharing with you the Kyle Larson 2023 HendrickCars.com kit. So this is the, the Kyle Larson number five Hendrick cars dot com kit. Uh, this is going to be Kyle's primary livery for the year. So let's see, there's the side with all the, the licensing information on it. And then the, uh, the other side shows, shows the, the Chase Elliott kit, one of our Richard Petty char, uh, that would be the Roadrunner, uh, there, nope, sorry, Charger. Can't read it. It's too small, and I don't have my glasses on. Uh, Jimmy, uh, Junior Johnson's uh, 1983 Chevrolet Monte Carlo, and I will be showing a little bit more of this shortly, and that is, sorry, Austin Sendrick's uh, Daytona 500 winner from last year, and it is a new Ford, and I'm going to show some information on that shortly. So let's see what's in the box. So there is there is that beautiful blue injection molded uh, styrene. So if you want to paint it, you can always paint it. If you don't want to paint them, you don't have to paint them because they are in the the correct color. All you have to do is decal them. And then there's those those wonderful tires. And the nicely packaged bags of of the parts. Uh, our our vendor in Southern California does a wonderful job on them. Since I don't have a knife, I'm just going to have to tear these apart. Yes, I should have been better prepared. Get that box out of my way. Yeah, I kind of do need a little lighter background, don't I? You know what? Ah, get that out of the way. You can see that on the on the wooden table a little bit better. There's the the tr one of the trees of the black parts, and there's that uh, that under tray with that uh, that beautiful uh, diffuser in the back, the seat, parts of the seat, the intake. And the one of the metallic co colored trees. Remember, when you're doing the, the exhaust, the only parts you're using are the headers. This piece here, that's not used. There are some of these that have some numbers on them. They were, uh, they were in pre-production and ignore those. All you worry about is those. And then the, the suspension tree. And then the uh, the chassis parts. So when you're when you are building this, I'm looking for the, uh, the part. When you're building this kit, make sure that at the front here of the uh, uh, the bottom of the frame that goes on top of the uh, uh, the under tray. Make sure that right here and right here you do a little bit of cleanup because there's some draft that was added uh, to make sure that this could come out of the mold. But right there and right there you do need to do a little bit of trimming with your hobby knife and it will allow, where is our front firewall? Um, it will allow the front firewall spots of right here and right here to fit up nice and snug and tight. If you don't get, if you don't get this section nice and snug and tight together, the whole thing is not going to fit, not going to glue together quite right. The molt, the parts are tight. They fit tightly together. So you want to just make sure you take your time. Don't be in a hurry. You don't have to be in a rush on this. Okay, and there's our there's our glass tree. Yeah, it's once again it's it's hard to see. Bring this thing back up. And now let's uh, now let's look at some of the instructions. 
The instructions are have changed just slightly in some of our steps. We are now suggesting that you build the uh, uh, the the fuel cell section very early to assemble that and and put it onto the back of the uh, uh, of the back firewall section. Get those built first and then move on. It's it's going to make help make a a uh, uh, make the whole system go together better straighter stronger etc so go go that way look at the new instructions when you build this kit as as with most kits and i'm going to say with any company first thing go over the instructions look at the instructions don't just i know so many of us have built models for years and we just blindly jump into them and we'll run into a run into a uh, uh, a little dead end Go through the instructions, look them over. If there's something that's a, that's an issue, study it a little bit. If you still don't get it, give one of us a call. Give Doug a call at extension zero. The number is on our instructions. So there's there's some of the other steps that are are rearranged, but uh, ultimately it's very similar. Now now when you get to here, you'll see. Wait a minute. There's Ford. Yes. The instructions, the, the Chevy and the Toyota will be the same in here, it, though it doesn't say Toyota. The Toyota will be the same. The Ford is a little bit different. It's, got, it's only got two parts of the, of the snorkel, where the Chevy and the Ford will be using three. Um, all three cars have their own unique uh, radiator exhaust. Uh, the Toyota, it will be T95 and 96. Yes, 95 and 96. I had to pull it closer to see. And the uh, the Ford will be, I believe it's tree M, and it will be 95 and 96. So you want to use those. And on, also on the Toyota, when you do get into that, this part down here is going to be a single piece, and it's on that Toyota tree because there was less room in the Toyota than in the others. But anyway, there we go on those, those instructions. Now let's take a look. Ah, here's this, this sheet is going to be for the placement and for some of the last instructions that are specific to the to the Chevy but there's your decal placements and let's take a look at our sheet for our decals so we've got we have a a sheet of just the, the white decals that you're going to want to put on there those will will go on on the base of that blue body rice paper just to keep them safe and uh, there's the the Hendrick cars.com I'm expecting that is probably the trunk lid I'm not sure and then there are there's the sheet of the decals for the rest so you're gonna get those white decals down first and then you'll come back and you'll you'll lay on some of these others and then there's our, our sheet of our our standard black decals that will come with uh, with each of our Chevys. We're going to have another one that'll be for the Fords and we'll have another one that'll be for the the Toyotas when they come out. So the I keep talking about Toyotas. Those will probably be coming out in March of 2023. Um, and I'm going to show you some stuff on the Fords. So let me show you some pictures. Okay, there is there is the Chase Elliott 2023 uh, Napa car that is available, and actually they are getting close to being sold out on those, even though they just shipped. They're already starting to sell out. And by the way, the uh, this uh, Kyle Larson kit is, I believe that is shipping right now also. So those will be available. It's a it's a production run of fifteen hundred units on both of these. So we've got the the Chase Elliott car that is out, and coming very soon, as in within uh, within the next couple of weeks, we will be uh, releasing and shipping the twenty twenty two Joey Logano Championship Ford Mustang, 
and we will be shipping the 2022 Daytona 500 winning Austin Cindric kit. This is a this is the uh, this is one of our firsts where we've uh, we've we're finally getting some eh, if you want to call them live uh, shots for the the box art. And we will be having more of those in 2023 of being able to make some race winners, have some of these uh, these race winning photos, and put that on the box art. We've got that coming, and then uh, here's a little here's a little hint you don't always get to see from everybody. And there is uh, there's the mold for the uh, for the Mustang. So those are in production right now, and those will be shipping very soon. And here is uh, here is a, a little look of uh, of one of our samples. That's just uh, the the test shot from uh, from the factory, from the the mold factory, and just painted with primer, so we can we can get a good idea of what it looks like. And that Mustang is going to be a beautiful little car. And uh, and from what I can tell you of of the uh, the digital file on the Toyota, that is going to be a a beautiful car also 2023 as we've i've said numerous times 2023 is going to be an exciting year for for you model builders because never before have you had the the race car on your desk the same year that it's first introduced never before have you will you ha have you had the the decal sheet for that car as it's raced Everything else was two to three years behind. So there's a whole lot of firsts, and uh, it's going to be a very exciting year, as I've said multiple times. So thanks for being with us. Thanks for following Salvino's JR Models, whether it be on our Facebook page or our salvinosjrmodels.com. You can, you can take a look at all of our stuff there. Um, our current, our, our back catalog, a lot of stuff is sold out, but we still have a lot of, the, lot of them. So take a look at those there, salvinosjrmodels.com. On Facebook, Salvinos JR Models. And uh, join us on Saturday mornings on for our Facebook Live video, and where I'm on, and I've got Rick, and sometimes uh, Chris, our sales manager, is on with us, and sometimes we have special guests. So check that out, too. Um, but thanks. Thanks for buying our kits.